I have a bun in my hair, but it looks like I have no hair. Good. Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and I know that this is the worst lighting of all time, those shadows though, um, but my entire room is packed up so it's like covered in stuff and whatever. I'm literally sitting on the floor next to my bed. Um, but I wanted to make a video because I have some time and nothing to do because my room is packed up. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about some things that are different between high school and university uh, based on my one term at uni. The first thing that's different is textbooks. Uh, in high school, I don't know about you guys, but our textbooks were provided to us by the school. Um, at uni, you have to buy all your textbooks. Let me show you an example. This is a textbook. <laughs> and this is a textbook. This is the difference between a textbook that cost 700 rand and a textbook that cost 3000 rand. Guess which one's which? That's right, this one cost 3000 rand. Um, I got it secondhand for like a lot cheaper. I mean really, I mean really. 3000? Really. The second difference is your actual writing books. Uh, so in high school everybody has like cute little decorated notebooks with like nice little front pages and little names on. I do not have a single book <laughs> in university. All I use is my exam pad, so like a pad of lined paper and I write all my notes on them and then I rip them off and put them into plastic sleeves for each subject. The third thing that's different is that in high school, you come home from school with all of your homework in your bag and you take it out and you do it as quickly as possible and you get it out of the way and then you have the rest of your day free. In university, your work is never done. You will always have more work to do. Even if you work until midnight every day, you will never be finished with your work. And as you finish the work, you get more work and it all piles up and you will never be done. <laughs> Look at those collarbones. Number four, kind of related. In the same way that you will always have work to do, there will always be something better to do than the work. Your friends are always around you, there's always places to go, you have all of this freedom, and doing work, which is ever present, is the last thing that you ever want to do. Number five, this one's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know where you guys go to university, if you go to university, but I've definitely noticed like a lot less teasing and like bullying. The other day I went out in cat ears and like thigh high socks and nobody had anything weird to say about it. In fact, I got a bunch of compliments. In university there is a lot more room I've found for individuality. Back in my hometown you kind of assimilate as much as possible because otherwise you're not going to have a good time. But at uni you really can be whatever. Uh, you need, you have to do a lot of adulting and it's hard trying to keep your room clean and like deal with important issues that you... <laughs> and so far I'm not very good at it. Number eight, this is probably going to sound like the most first world problem you've ever heard, um, but there's so much food. Like, they feed us so much here. <laughs> um, breakfast is usually pretty small. But um, lunch and supper are both like full meals and it's way more than what my body is used to. Another difference is in the subjects that you do, you get to kind of pick what you're interested in which is pretty cool. You don't have to do like random generic stuff and like you're not forced to do the same thing as everybody else which is really nice. 11, maybe, I don't know, uh, joining societies in university costs so much money, um, at school clubs are usually free, uh, not so at uni, so you really can't do everything that you want to do, nor, that, nor do you have time to do everything you want to do. I've really lost count now. Um, there is a lot of politics at university, um, it's pretty much like a constant thing, there will always be like politics around you, but also there's still quite a lot of ignorance and unfortunately like people in class who <laughs> usually know the least about stuff usually have the most to say and it's really annoying but it is pretty nice that people are a lot more woke than in my hometown and the last thing that i have to mention this one's gonna sound really sad but like you don't get hugs <laughs> at university. I know that sounds like the saddest thing, but like I can literally count the number of hugs that I've gotten 
at least from like different people on easily one hand there's always that one friend who like greets you hello and goodbye every time they see you i miss hugs and i never thought i'd say that because i'm not the type of person who likes hugs but like nice hug from your mom in the morning man it really goes a long way that was a pretty mixed bag of like positive and negative things about university. Generally, I really enjoyed it. Please tell me in the comments down below how are you guys doing, how's school, how's uni, what's going on. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more from my channel, you can click the subscribe button and I make new videos every single week. Thanks for watching everybody. I love you. Bye!